Uh, so first off, sorry I didn't get last week's episode off. Secondly, hi, my name's Anna. Welcome to Hickfield Productions, and my series called Level Up Life, which is both a vlog and documentary where I am sharing everything and anything pretty much related to my fitness journey because I'm currently 220 pounds, used to be 250, and here's a quick look at last week. That's the face of a very relaxed puppy. Angel decided to surprise us with helping get Marmar groomed, who is a very fluffy puppy. And we just dropped her off at the groomers. So when you see her next, she's gonna be a sheared, happy girl. Definitely no longer overheating. Yeah. Because it is 91 degrees outside at this exact moment. For the record, it was 30 degrees last week. Love where we live. Oh, and now we're gonna go do something that's very bad dieting wise, but I've eaten like nothing today So I kind of need the calories anyways not that this is the great source of it But there is this place where we're from that's very popular and unique to our area of residence And it's called Abbott's ice cream, and it's extremely good, and I haven't had any since I was like four years old and that's kind of like a cardinal no-no where we're from. Like everybody eats Abbott's ice cream at least once in the summer. I really can't believe that you haven't had any in so long. Like, how? I don't know. Well, we're gonna change that right now. Like right now. Ice cream! So, they've had Mara for two and a half hours now. She's still not done yet. We've gone to a few stores, I got a new pair of boots, found out I was fired, and yeah, Monday. Yeah! We burned off all the ice cream at least. Maybe not all of it. I forgot how large those things were. That's true, we should have gotten a single scoop because their, their double scoop was like... <laughs> quadruple? Huge, yeah, it was like a quadruple scoop. Like that anywhere else would have been like... Like the cone base around was like... Oh. And then they piled it up, so it was like... It's a big cone. It was a big cone. It was good. It was good. We, we hadn't done anything like that in ages. <laughs> Did that taste like blueberry ice cream? It actually... It... <laughs> Oh god, it keeps coming. It tasted like blueberry ice cream and then this, uh, aca <clears throat> the, this Akaya vitamin water. Not to name any brands. There's Marmar! We got her back! Like, 5.15, but we got her. Look at you. Hey, Marmar! Are you a big girl? Oh, you're such a pretty girl. They even trimmed your ear fur. Look at you, you're so pretty. You're so pretty. Now, back to the present. So, as I mentioned in the last episode, which is the start of May, I think, uh, I was gonna try to evaluate a healthy, safe version of a healthy eating diet for me. The problem is, I don't really have the money to eat like strictly nothing but super, super healthy food. So, I'm trying to find a poor man's healthy way of eating, which isn't quite that easy. Uh, especially when I'm doing a very bad job at logging my calories, which is something I said I was gonna do last week. Well, two weeks ago now, I was gonna be like, yeah, I'm gonna log my calories and I'm gonna have like everything in there so I can show you like the complete breakdown. I did that once and then I have yet to actually log everything for a single day since then. Um, I have though, you should be proud, I have gotten, uh, I got two workouts in last week at the gym and I got one in this week so far. In fact, most of yesterday, it was funny because we worked our arms and most of yesterday I was fine and then all of a sudden like at night I was like, oh my gosh, I have triceps. You exist. Whee. Just to show you guys, I just had breakfast. I should have actually showed you the breakfast, but whatever. Um, this is my iTouch because I don't own a smartphone, at least not an actual smartphone. I was what's well, supposed to be a smartphone, but it's so old and stupid. It's yeah, it's bad. Um, but yeah, I had hard boiled eggs, a little bit of Italian salad dressing, 
just because I, I don't like the taste of egg by itself. And the dressing is almost out, and once it's out, I am going to make my own um, vinaigrette. But then I had, you know, a spring mix, which is like kale and spinach. And then I had baby carrots, so I got a good start to the day with some vitamin A and vitamin B. Um, and later for a snack, uh, it's not the super healthiest snack choice, the veggie straws, but my goal is currently not just to eat healthy, but even more importantly before that, eat enough calories a day because, uh, as I will show you on screen, I know for a fact I haven't been eating enough, and even the app that I use for logging my calories is like, girl, you need to eat more food! Priority number one for me currently is to actually eat the right quantity a day because even if I eat the healthiest stuff and I don't eat enough, I'm still harming my body and I'm not gonna make any progress because my metabolism's like, what do you want me to do? You didn't give me enough to work with. I'm gonna try to do good today and log everything that I eat. That way there's at least two days worth of data. The other days throughout the week were, as far as quantity of what I ate, about the same as that first day. So, yeah. So I'm gonna try to show you as much of my diet today as I can. Prove what I'm eating, not just with what I'm recording in my food log, but with what I'm putting in my face. This is my brunch. I have a chicken stuffed chick frozen stuffed chicken thing starting to cook in the oven. Um, because we're really, really low on chicken breasts and things like that as it is. I mean my mom just went and she picked up vegetables for tonight's dinner. They cost her 40 bucks. 40 freaking bucks for like two zucchinis, a bundle of bananas, four apples, some green onions, a head of iceberg lettuce because the rest of the lettuce didn't look good, and I think two loaves of bread. What the fuck? Seriously, I'm stupid. Now here's, here's the sad thing. Think of how many frozen dinners like the do the dollar banquet frozen dinners. Think of how many of those like like we could have bought for forty bucks. Yep. This is dinner, and then because I know this is gonna not be enough, I grabbed a yogurt to go with it. Then of course, drinking water. I don't think this is gonna put me over my calories. Still Thursday. I'm still really bad at telling what day of the week it is, and I should turn another light on because it's whoop getting dark outside. There we go. Now you can kind of see me. I am about 400 calories short of 1,500, which is what I prefer to eat every day, given the fact that I'm working out and I'm getting 10,000 steps. Because right now I'm only at 1,233 calories, and I will admit, somewhat shamefully, the only reason I hit that is because I had four. Keebler grasshopper mint cookies and to the coconut cookies. Your diet has problems when you have to eat cookies to meet your minimum calorie requirement. Yep. <laughs> so yeah, we went to the gym. Wow, I need a haircut. I guess that's kind of better. So flippy. <laughs> I have learned, even though I didn't do the greatest job logging my calories every day, um, that I've definitely been under eating and that is an issue. When I say under eating, let me specify this just a little bit. Um, the minimum, the minimum, the minimum daily requirement for a adult woman is 1,200 calories. On the other day, I made, I only ate 1,233-ish calories. And like I had mentioned, that was with Keebler cookies. The Keebler cookies. I would not have made it if I hadn't eaten freaking Keebler cookies. How horrible is that? That is messed up. So there are some serious definite dietary issues going on. Ugh. And it's not aided by the fact that buying a tiny, tiny, tiny handful of vegetables can cost you 40 bucks right now. So as I said in the last episode of Love of Life, my focus is gonna be on eating enough food for now because I'm gonna trust the intelligent design of my body to be able to handle what I put in it. Now, of course, I'm gonna avoid things that are empty calories. For instance, 
pop because it gives you really no benefit. It's just sugar and water and whatever chemical flavoring they add to it. So that is still on the no-no list. But if there's anything, even though it's somewhat unhealthy, you know, I might just have to make the exception just so I have enough in my body to fuel me for the rest of the day, even if it's not of the best quality. And no, Clown Nebula, that does not mean I'm gonna go eating a bunch of cake. Okay. But it, you know, it does mean if I gotta eat something that's kind of eh, well, oh well. As long as I break my 1,200 calories, cause uh, yeah. And if I can, I'll do it with the healthiest stuff I have around me. That said, I'm gonna start wrapping this episode up here. But before I go, it's time to show you my character sheet, which is much closer to being done. So there it is, as you can tell, it's much more finished. Of course, there are things that's gonna be changing, but it's getting there. As you can see, I separated my strength training from my cardio, so now you can see those broken down individually. You still have my steps, like four, and I'm changing the buffs and debuffs into more like a character stat track, because that'll be a lot easier for me to update each week, and I'll explain those more in a future episode, but for the most part, they're just, they're just placeholders for now. But strength, dexterity, they're pretty self-explanatory. Magic, I'm gonna be breaking down as uh, like willpower and like my mental focus and state of well-being and then intelligence will be you know problem solving and a matter of what I've learned through experience or research and such forth and so on so there you go that's my character sheet from last week I actually didn't input this week's information because it was kind of all over the place and I kind of forgot to to be honest anyway that is where I am currently obviously weight hasn't really changed much i'm now i'm like technically i'm 219 if anyone's really wondering but again i said a while back i'm only changing the weight by five pound increments because i feel like that's the only time you can call it a fairly significant difference and even that it's not always the best way to value your progress other than that as far as progress is going i do not get winded nearly as much running upstairs and if i do get winded it's because i actually ran up the stairs and not because I jogged up them. It's because I put a lot of oomph <laughs> getting to the top, which is pretty awesome. And I know there's a few of you following me along with this journey and kind of like partaking on it with me. And I would love to hear how you're doing, um, you know, what success you're having, struggles, that sort of thing. Or if you're just kind of, you know, having trouble getting started and motivated. That was my biggest struggle. Um, unfortunately, most of that happened prior to me starting YouTube. So you guys didn't get to witness that bit. Um, but believe me, it, it took about a year, I think, before I really got going. But that said, either way, go ahead and leave your stories and your current, you know, life situation down in the comments below. I will, of course, read and reply because I want to support you guys in your journey as much as you support me in mine. So, yeah, because we're not going through this alone, that's a big part of why I started this and why I'm going to keep doing it. Anyways, that said, thank you very much for joining me for this episode. I hope you have an excellent day and go share a smile with someone because you never know who might need it. Give yourself a hug for being awesome. And if you're joining me on the weight loss progress and the getting fit and healthy, keep working at it. It's okay when you feel down, just look in the reflection and tell yourself working on it and then go actually work on it in some regard. Um, be it trading in your potato chips for carrot sticks, go do your best. Anyway, give yourself a hug for being awesome and I hope to see you and all y'all in another video. And until then, later. And I decided I'd play some Don't Storm. Because you know what? It's kind of topical for what's happening in my one of my other series on the channel, Level Up Life. Which if you haven't checked out, that's alright. I appreciate those sort of things. Anyway, I, I don't know if you're friendly or not. Just 